Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is A.J. Pitts, Creative Intellect with Magenta Madison. A.J., welcome to Significant TV. Thank you, Fran, for having me. Sure, sure. You know, I'm very excited that you're here. Lots of questions that I want to ask. First question is, where did you get those really cool glasses? Uh, well, it's actually a secret. The secret's called Amazon.com. Okay, okay, <laughs> um, very cool. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, I'm very into different um, different pieces, different accessories outside of the norm, just necklaces and rings mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So mm -hmm. glasses are just one of my many accessories, even though I really am blind as a bat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I, I like to switch up my, um, my glasses. So I have a million pairs, my husband, um, He's not too happy about how I take up <laughs> bathroom space with my million <laughs> accessories, but um, hey, I'm a girl. This but is what we do. I, I love it. I love it. And you are about style. And so, which prompts my next question, again, a little bit off script, your title. Um, generally, entrepreneurs, founder, president, CEO, I did have one entrepreneur that was a chief visionary officer, mm -hmm. and you want to be known as a creative intellect. Share with me why, because you were pretty insistent um, um, yeah. about that. Yes. So there's a great story behind it. Share the story. Um, throughout my life, I've always um, battled with what mommy and daddy wanted for me, as well as the creative that I naturally am. So of course, you know, I was taught to be an accountant or a lawyer, a doctor, and to kind of push <laughs> my intellectual side down to, I wanted to major in marketing in college, and my mom said, I'm not paying for that. You either be an accountant or wow. something like literally. Okay. I'm not in a negative way, but she mm -hmm. felt that it would be more um, lucrative or be, I guess give the best ROI um, mm -hmm. as far as grad, when, once I um, earned my um, bachelors at the time. Um, still ended back up in marketing because I'm a creative, but um, for me, I want to be known as a creative intellect because I am the perfect balance of both. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it goes without saying um, any business person um, or any business owner that you are the president, the CEO, the vice president, et cetera, et cetera. I think that those are those are nice for, I guess, recognition purposes, but what I want to be recognized is not the title that I hold within my company, but who I am, in, like literally who I am inside, because that I feel is the um, best representative of my business and of mm. course who I'm targeting. So I am targeting the creative intellect because I am a creative intellect, and for that reason, not only me, um, but also those who are on our team, would also be able to cater to creative intellect because they're hand chosen, of course, by me. Who then they're also creative intellects as well, or they're one extent, um, one extent of the creative and one extent of the intellect. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, I feel that it's kind of. Um, it, it's just not, it's too surface based <laughs> for me to to say, oh, I'm CEO, yeah, or yeah, that's cute, it, I, I am, but I, I want you to know that we, I am a creative intellect, so I know you as the customer, I am you, so mm -hmm. that would, um, I feel that that tells a story in itself that I would be better be able to cater to you um, because I share and identify with the same passion that you have. I love it, I love mm -hmm. it. I mean, marketing is about the message, and mm -hmm. so you set a clear message with your title, Creative Intellect. Mm -hmm. And now, Magenta Madison. How did exactly. you come up with that name? Um, it's going to sound very cliche, but it really okay. hit me in, in the middle of my sleep. Like at mm -hmm. probably like two, three in the morning, mm -hmm. I jumped out of my sleep like a zombie, like ugh. <laughs> and I <tap> my, like, <laughs> babe, create magenta medicine. <laughs> um, so all I can say, I have to attribute that to God speaking to me only because mm -hmm. I, at one point, I was t hardcore, and when I was in corporate America, I, I never want to own a business. Why would I want that headache? I just want to go do my job and come out. I don't want to have to deal with all the minutia of owning a business. And then it became, maybe within the past, I would say the last two, through, two years or so of me winding down my corporate career, it just became in, like very evident to me that entrepreneurship mm -hmm. was the way that I was supposed to go because um, it, it was just literally that, pa like it just a, was a, a burning passion. It was actually mm. annoying because I didn't understand it logically. It was okay. just straight feeling. Okay. So um, with that being said, um, 
Magenta Madison. It was birthed because it came to me in my, the name came to me in my sleep. But in addition to that feeling, when I happened to look up magenta, um, magenta actually happened to be one of my favorite colors anyway. I was hoping but, uh, so. It really is. <laughs> but um, when I looked up the color magenta, it talked about transformation. It mm. talked about whenever um, you see the color magenta, it changes one's mood to just be much more calmer. Um, it also mm. talks about the person who identifies with the magenta as, you know, not, you know, being outside of the box, being <laughs> in essence artsy and I'm like oh my gosh it, it's me they're talking about mm -hmm. so I didn't put that as any coincidence um, so that is where you know magenta came from um, as mm -hmm. far as it not only being my my favorite color and it wasn't the simplicity of that it was mm -hmm. taking the deeper dive and looking into what it meant and I felt that it represented everything that was me at that time in my life as far as transformation mm -hmm. um, you know just taking a leap it, it mm -hmm. literally if you just literally google meaning of color magenta you'll see everything okay. that I'm speaking okay. of it's a whole honestly three pages on it wow. um, online um, Madison cool. is just my favorite name um, mm -hmm. I always loved that name, Madison. I'm like, Mom, why didn't you name me Madison? Why, why'd you name me AJ? Well, my name is Alicia Jacqueline, mm -hmm. um, so I go by AJ, but I'm like, why couldn't you name me Madison? I love that. So I decided, hey, I'm just going to go with my favorite name. I, I could have saved it for my offspring, but I decided to do my first baby <laughs> as, ah, as Magenta Madison. I love Madison. it, your first baby, your business. Mm -hmm. So what's that significant story when that baby was birthed? You talked about the name. But, and you talked about this burning passion that you really had to move towards entrepreneurship, but was there a moment um, that helped define you leaving corporate America and saying, Magenta Madison, it's ready? I would say that um, it was a compilation of feelings. Mm -hmm. I can't okay. necessarily attribute it to one, but one thing I can say if I had to sum it up is um, I've always been, the intellectual side of me has always been kind of nerdy, not even kind of, very much so nerdy. <laughs> Um, in that, you know, I'm the person, take me on a date, I want to go to the museum. <laughs> like, oh, like, yeah. And wow. actually, my husband got it right the first date, and I never told him. But anyway, um, mm, moving, moving. Mm, um, very observant. Yeah. Does he have brothers? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he does, too, and they're both married. <laughs> but um, uh, aside from that, um, for me, I always looked into um, just history. Um, I am my family I am an, um, is entirely Barbadian so my entire family mm -hmm. I'm first generation American to the point where I constantly was sent back because it was very important for my parents for me to know my culture down mm -hmm. to um, I probably have a thicker Barbadian accent when I switch it on and off than my mother at this point and mm -hmm. she says that mm -hmm. so um, for me in knowing my you know the, how deeply and rooted I am in my culture like literally very much so into the music t down to carnival and all of that mm -hmm. stuff I do I I've done carnival. all of that mm -hmm. um, so for me I said, you know, let me go a little deeper. I've always wanted to look a little bit outside the box because, um, hey, um, if my, my family roots aren't even in America. Mm, um, right. So, of course, that leads us all to back to, you know, Africa and things like that. So when I'm looking at that, you know, African-American history and things like that, I'm like, oh, shoot, we came from kings, queens, diamonds, gold, frankincense mm -hmm. myrrh that was us <laughs> like mm -hmm. you know a lot of the inventions that I started finding out just seeing our power as a people um, just understanding you know moors and understanding our influence on Europe and I'm like we're some we, we're bad mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so ever yeah, since I started powerful. understanding that value I literally started recognizing or my place in corporate America took on a whole new meaning to me I felt more of a um, "Quote unquote slave more than I mm -hmm. than than I felt before. Like, oh, I'm on top of the world. I'm climbing in that corporate ladder, and I felt that I was more so a pawn in someone else's game. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel, and for me, when that person, when I started, my mindset changed because of me, you know, being becoming very deep rooted or learning more about my history. It is very um, the bottom line of that would be." Once you know who you are, it's mm -hmm. very hard to continue on the way that you that you were, and that's that's literally what happened to mm -hmm. me um, in many different it, it, it's so many different instances. But once I became aware of who I who I was, and where I came from, it was very hard for me mm -hmm. to maintain the same mindset because mm -hmm. I took on like corporate America and everything took on a whole new perception to me and mm -hmm. uh, not only did it take on a whole new perception but it took on a whole new perception of myself and my place mm -hmm. in sure. that in that pl in, in my place in these instant in any instance whether it was corporate or not so for me um, I decided to kind of not even to be me because um, now that knowing of self is kind of like you know once you know better you right. should be doing better right. so um, I guess my rendition of that would, would be the execution of Magenta Madison um, despite the 
difficulty, the what the heck are you doing in jail? Like, <laughs> right. you literally have to quit your job. Like, but despite all of that, mm -hmm. I just, I just did it till this day. It's still, you have that fear, but mm -hmm. hey, you know, I, I literally have to trust in who I am as a person and trust mm -hmm. in God because it's harder for me to pretend to be something else. Right. Um, what, now that I have this, um, I guess, inclination, not mm -hmm. even inclination, but um, revelation, I should say, mm -hmm. as to exactly who I am and who I want to be. Still finding pieces of her out, but um, I'd rather find pieces of her out as I build an empire, mm -hmm. not only for me, but this is really for my children. Um, mm -hmm. I want to be able to leave behind something other than those nice educational debts um, <laughs> at, if at all. Um, so uh, that's what this is really about. It's Very about the, the, the children that I don't even have yet, and my husband understands this is literally, this is about this family, I want to be able to, you know, do all those um, Susie homemaker things. I want to take them to school. I want to do. I want to be a soccer mom. I want to take them to football. I want to wake up in the morning and bake their cake. And I want to be able to say, um, well, they shouldn't have cake in the morning. But the kind of person <laughs> I am, they probably okay. will. Um, but I, I, outside of that, I want to be able to literally be there um, for my for my children and kind of be a house mom, but mm -hmm. at the same time bringing in re income when mommy doesn't have to be at work like I was. Sure, sure. Um, so they that's that a mompreneur. Exactly. Right, right. Exactly. So that's right. really what it's about. And it's um, not only being there, but I want to show them more than I can tell them the importance of following your dreams and entrepreneurship. Uh, my parents, um, nothing negative. They taught me to go to school, get a good job, and retire. And that's the, you know, where they came from. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that, but they don't even realize it in owning um, houses. Um, they have real estate. They don't realize they're actually entrepreneurs too. Mm -hmm. So um, with that being said, I want to show my children what entrepreneurship is like. I want to give them um, the standard of being their own boss, being on top, and not being taught to kind of succumb to, to anything else unless they choose to. Okay. So um, I think that that's something better shown than said. My mom could tell me 50 million things, but if I see her actions, we and you know, mm -hmm. innately start to follow what our parents sure. do. So I'm hoping that the same trend um, happens with my children and in that they can see, hey, mommy and daddy are entrepreneurs and you know, they only um, succumb when they have to, uh, out, of, okay. uh, out of, if they choose to, not even have to, they, they make a choice to be business owners, to build their own capital, et cetera, et cetera. So this is really literally about my kids. It's not even for any type of notoriety or, and that I, goes back I to the it. why I don't care about being CEO, vice president. Mm -hmm. It's not about the notoriety, it's about my children and what I believe my purpose is on mm -hmm. um, what God's purpose for me is and there's no p reason to be such a intellect and creative if I'm not supposed to share my gifts to help others so first thing help my children who aren't mm -hmm. even here yet and the second thing is to share my gift to help others liter literally not that cliche thing everyone says like literally it makes me feel really good and I think good. that probably ties into a lot more things as far as our product offerings, who we target, et cetera, but. Share that in 30 seconds or less. What, if someone said, what is Magenta Madison and who do you serve? Literally 30 seconds. Magenta Madison is a brand management consultancy who specializes um, in branding and, um, you know, branding and content creation and management for those in the, the creative um, and empowerment realm. So we target authors, artists, if you paint, musicians, things of that nature as well as those who are speakers, motivational speakers, authors, um, if you are a writer as well. Um, anyone in the arts and empowerment arena, we are, we, our focus is on branding you um, through content creation. Wow, very powerful. How can folks get in touch with you, AJ? You can go to magentamadison.com. Magenta is spelled like exactly the color, M-A-G-E-N-T-A, M-A-D-I-S-O-N.com. Terrific. Wow, definitely a significant story. I understand your business purpose and passion, your children, your future, your legacy is part of it, and results. We have just a little bit of time, probably 30 seconds. What's uh, an example of a customer that you've served who's been really satisfied? Um, I would say, in any custom, most customers that I've served, I haven't really had an uh, unsatisfied customer yet, only because mm -hmm. I'm very meticulous on who we, on who we work with, mm -hmm. but um, in any of them, they weren't more, um, as much satisfied with the product because I kind of feel like the product is expected. They were satisfied with the feeling that I gave. Mm -hmm. They felt more like friends. So if anything, their loyalty to the Magenta Madison um, brand or our services is more about 
us it being more of a partnership than mm -hmm. it being a business relationship. Okay. So um, a lot of times we end up becoming friends. I'm, I'm very, it's very personalized. Our packets, are, are, our offerings are very, very um, personalized. So that is more so the feeling more than the product. Wow. Wonderful way to end our uh, just our discussion. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. Thank you so much for having me. I truly sure. appreciate it, Grant. My pleasure. My pleasure. There you have it. Another significant story from a significant entrepreneur, AJ Pitts, creative intellect <laughs> with Magenta Madison. Continue to follow Significant TV and Radnor Studio 21 on YouTube.